Well, next we're going to uh, hear from the Dr. The Zhang Gao, who is a professor in the School of Kinesiology at the University of Minnesota. Dr. Gao's research has primary focus on uh, uh, promoting health through the population-based physical activities interventions with the emerging technologies, such as active video games, virtual reality, and health, wear uh, health wearables. He has published over 150 research articles, including books and books, uh, book chapters. He has been uh, the recipient of several the, um, prestige, pre prestigious uh, international and national awards and principal investigators investigator of uh, National Institute of Health Research Grant and uh, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Grant. His presentation this morning is titled The Breast Cancer Survivors, Mental Health, Daily Activities, and Trip Behaviors. He will share with us his findings on the effects of a mobile Tai Chi app and the Facebook program on stress and uh, uh, quality of life among breast cancer survivors. He also uh, explored uh, the daily uh, activities and trip behaviors of breast cancer survivors and how emotional mood is associated with using the app-based uh, day con uh, reconstruction, uh, reconstruct method. Dr. Gao. All right, good morning, everyone. Yeah, <clears throat> thanks uh, very much for the opportunity. Uh, it's a great pleasure to share this topic with you. Uh, breast cancer survives daily trip behaviors, subjective well-being, and the mental health. Uh, first, I would like to give, give you some background information regarding the breast cancer and breast cancer survivors. As we know that the, the breast cancer is the most common cancer and the second leading cause of cancer deaths among the females. Some of the key numbers we share here is that uh, uh, nearly one in, in eight uh, 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 of the females face the uh, breast cancer risks in, during the um, during their lifetime, and a, a little over one quarter of the uh, um, females that were diagnosed with uh, breast cancer this this past year, and but we know the fact that uh, um, the uh, the uh, the rate of the the mortality decreased tremendously in the past thirty years uh, due to the the advancement of the technology and the medicine. Um, some of the risk factors uh, regarding to the development of the cancers include uh, two, two categories. The, one car the first category is non-modifiable risk factors, uh, which include age, heredity, and sex. That means that uh, we can do nothing to change that. The, the second type of uh, risk factors are modifiable risk factors, uh, including but not limited to physical inactivity or certain behavior, uh, obesity, uh, poor nutrition intake, tobacco use, some exposure. Uh, when we say modify, but it means that uh, we can do something to change it. For example, we can encourage in individuals to develop and maintain a physically active lifestyle. Uh, we can help individuals to maintain their weight uh, by doing exercise and uh, to keep a, a healthy and balanced diet. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, the, the major prevention strategies these days include three major components, uh, which are healthy diet, exercise, and weight management. Um, well, next I would like to talk about some of the side effects and the, the important role of physical activity in reducing the side effects during the transition of cancer survivors. Uh, <clears throat> generally speaking, the, the cancer survivors would uh, uh, go through some of the side effects, such as de decreased uh, physical functioning, uh, adverse mental health outcomes, and psychological stress, like depression, anxiety. Uh, as a result, their quality of life uh, uh, is tremendously decreased. Um, as I just mentioned in the previous slides, the physical activity participation, especially regular participation in physical activity, uh, can be a significant modifiable lifestyle um, approach uh, to uh, reduce the negative uh, side effect and improve the quality of life uh, and the mental health among the breast cancer survivors. Okay, so research evidence has reported that the cancer survivors die of the non-cancer causes at a higher rate than the general population. Uh, however, for those breast cancer survivors who participate in physical activity on a regular basis. Um, researchers found a 
of 24 to 67% reduction in the total deaths among this population and the nearly 50% reduction in risk of breast cancer deaths. Okay, so, um, so, so much has been known about the uh, beneficial role of physical activity participation in preventing and managing the, the breast cancer survivors. However, little is known about how activities of daily living and experiences shape broad aspect of breast cancer survivors' subjective uh, well-being. So um, the questions rise about how breast cancer survivors' emotional well-being changes through the day-to-day -day variation in activities and uh, trips on a daily basis. So this study was you know, uh, designed to understand how everyday activity type and the travel modality contributes to the breast cancer survivors' subjective well-being. In other words, um, our first question concerns about how did the breast cancer survivors' everyday experiences such as their daily activities, their trip behavior, contribute to their subjective well-being. And um, um, the, the next uh, app that we will use uh, would be the exercise app. Um, uh, well, eHealth is a terminology refers to the, um, the health information or the health um, uh, services uh, delivered and enhanced through the internet and the other technologies. Uh, it also stands for efficiency, enhanced quality, evidence-based, and empowerment and engagement. Uh, in fact, eHealth uh, is very broad, including the uh, sophisticated apps, uh, health variables, and social media, big data, and things like that. Uh, so uh, in this study, we also use the access app because uh, we, we use app to help individuals to set goals, to record their activities, uh, as well as monitor the progress and to provide the instant feedback, uh, the, the individuals were also able to log the food intake on a daily basis. Uh, in addition, the exercise app can form an online social community so that individuals can care, give support and help motivate self and others. Uh, this, in, in the project, we use the, a very popular Tai Chi app as an intervention approach. I will talk more about this later on. So uh, to, <clears throat> the, there are two specific aims of this project. The first aim was to explore the relationship between uh, breast cancer survivors' daily activity, trip behavior, and their subjective well-being. The secondary aim was to examine the effect of a Tai Chi app on breast cancer survivors' stress and the quality of life. All right. Uh, in terms of the participants, we recruited 35 breast cancer survivors from the Twin Cities area. Uh, we list a, a number of inclusion criteria uh, here. So as you can see, the consult flow diagram, uh, we initially recruited uh, 40 uh, breast cancer survivors from this area uh, through many approaches like uh, word of mouth, the email list, um, and, and uh, the connections with clinics and the local hospitals. Um, and we end up with uh, 36 who were willing to participate in the study, and, uh, and then we uh, assigned 20 to the intervention group, the Tai Chi app intervention group, and then another 15, 16 to the control group. Uh, during the 12-week intervention period, one participant from the control group dropped out. So, uh, our final sample size was 35. So basically, this is a 12-week 12, 12 to arm um, parallel randomized control trial study. Okay. Um, intervention conditions, we uh, um, offered the Tai Chi conditions to two, 20 of the participants. Uh, for the individuals in this group, um, they received uh, uh, weekly health tips through the private uh, Facebook health education group. Uh, and we also offered the uh, seven-minute Tai Chi app for them, uh, and we advised the participants to practice three times per day and uh, at least uh, five days a week. Uh, the Tai Chi, the, the seven-minute Chi uh, app is, uh, you know, um, it's very cheap app um, with three different, uh, you know, Tai Chi modalities, um, and uh, um, we. 
the beginning project, uh, we offered a 45 minutes uh, Tai Chi orientation for all the participants to, to, you know, to help them to master some of the fundamental skills of practicing in Tai Chi. Um, and for the control condition, uh, we uh, offered the same content identity health education group, uh, education programs to the participants through Facebook as well. So as you can see, um, both groups received the weekly health tips through Facebook, uh, but the intervention group also received the uh, seven minute Tai Chi app. Okay. Um, well, for, for the study, it was conducted uh, last year, uh, the first half of last year during the pandemic. Um, we recruited the participants in uh, February and March and conducted the BISNA measurement. Uh, the first aim of study was to use the data from the basement. Uh, then we implement the, the Tai Chi intervention for 12 weeks and then complete the post-intervention assessment. Okay. Uh, for the measurement, the first one <clears throat> um, that we used was a dynamic app, um, and we use it to uh, capture the breast cancer virus real-time activity and the three uh, episodes on a daily basis for one week. Uh, you know, the team actually suggests us to use for two weeks, but uh, for many reasons, we were able to only measure one week for the basement and the post-intervention. <clears throat> uh, we also uh, ask the participants to uh, record their subjective well-being after each trip and the activity. I believe the, the uh, IT team will talk more about this in the afternoon. So <clears throat> I just skip. Uh, in terms of other measures we use in the study, we use a self-reported uh, 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 survey to assess uh, stress and another self-reported survey to uh, assess the quality of life. So as you can see for the stress, uh, we use the 10 items to measure individuals' frequencies of various stress-related feelings and thoughts. Uh, over the last past months, <clears throat> and the, the, the sum of those 10 items were used as a score for the stress. Um, and in terms of the quality of life, there are two major uh, subscales, uh, mental health and physical health. Uh, the mental health <coughs> actually measures the individual's uh, level of anxiety and depressive symptoms. Um, the, the mean of the items were used uh, for mental health. Um, on the other side, for the physical health, uh, it was composed of physical function, of pain interference, and ability to participate in the social roles and activities. <clears throat> the mean scores of those three subscales were used as the score for the physical health. Um, well, um, in terms of data analysis, we use one way or no uh, to compare the effects of the sub-activities and trips on breast cancer survivors. Uh, uh, well-being at the baseline. Again, we only use data at the baseline. And then we use the repeated measure ANOVA and the MANOVA to uh, analyze the effects of the Tai Chi intervention on breast cancer survivor stress and the mental health as well as the physical health. Okay. Here comes the results. As you can see, <clears throat> to answer our first aim, um, we had a final data set with complete subjective well-being survey um, contains 420 activity episodes and 378 episodes in total, okay? And uh, <clears throat> um, according to the ANOVA, uh, there are significant differences between the sub-activities and the uh, trip behavior uh, among the breast cancer survivors, happiness, meaningfulness, safety, uh, stress, sadness, pain, and uh, loneliness. So as you can see, <clears throat> there are a number, a lot of numbers here. Yeah, so uh, I, I will uh, clarify a few. For example, for the happiness, uh, we can tell that uh, the cancer survivors had a high levels of uh, happiness during leisure recreation, as compared with uh, uh, the working time, education, and the shopping. <clears throat> Meanwhile, eating out, <clears throat> the participants had a, um, high levels, higher levels of happiness why eating out as compared with education. Um, for meaningless, uh, again, leisure recreation activities had a higher meaningless 
uh, as compared with uh, the staying at home, working, and uh, shopping. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> uh, the, the results shows the similar patterns. Yeah, we can tell that uh, um, breast cancer survivors usually tend to have high levels of happiness and meaningfulness and the low levels of sadness, stress, pain, and loneliness um, <clears throat> as compared with working or shopping. Okay. All right, um, comparing the two uh, trip modality, uh, we can tell that uh, the happiness and uh, tiredness uh, had significant differences. Uh, in detail, the, the, the cancer survivors reported the higher mean scores of happiness in walking modality as compared with riding a car. Uh, in addition, the participants experienced less tired feelings when they walked compared with riding a car. All right, to answer the second M, uh, we compared the change scores in stress and the quality of life um, uh, between the two groups, the intervention group and the control group. So I, as we can tell clearly from this slide, um, the intervention group had significantly, had a greater decreased stress uh, uh, as compared with the control group. Because the sample size was a bit small, only 35, uh, so it, approach the significant level, but the p-value is still a little bit greater than 0.05. Uh, in terms of the changes in mental health, uh, the intervention group had significantly better mental health as compared with control groups. Yeah, so as, uh, as you can see, um, the, the, the mental health, uh, usually the, the, the lower score, the better, okay? Uh, so we can see the intervention group had a better uh, mental health as a result of the Tai Chi app intervention. Uh, similarly, the uh, breast cancer survivors' physical uh, health also increased significantly from baseline to follow up for both groups. Okay? But there was no significant group differences between the intervention group and control group. Okay? Um, yeah, to sum it up, uh, this study is one of the first studies to compare how subtitle of activities and trips affect the breast cancer survivors' emotional well-being. The survivors had the highest happiness when they participated in leisure recreation activities as compared with walking and shopping. Uh, also, the survivors experienced the highest meaningfulness when participating in leisure recreation as compared with staying at home, walking, and shopping. Um, they experience the experience the less stress and sadness while engaging in the leisure uh, recreation activities. In addition, we observed the protective effects of walking among the breast cancer survivors. Okay, uh, because our data suggests that high levels of happiness and low levels of tiredness when breast cancer survivors were walking, as compared with um, riding in a car. Yeah, so some of the take-home messages that we should encourage the cancer survivors to, uh, to schedule or to arrange more leisure activities uh, during their daily life. Uh, they can also you know, uh, take advantage of walking as, a, as opposed to walking or sitting in front of a computer. Um, you know, some strategies can be parking a bit far, far away from the entrance during the shopping, so they have more time to walk. Uh, also, they can walk the dogs or do more walking activity during their daily life. Okay? <clears throat> uh, in addition to that, our findings suggest that the implementation of the Taiji app program had a positive effect on breast cancer survivors' uh, mental health. Uh, also, offering a health education program could be beneficial to physical health as well. Um, the study was funded by Masonic Cancer Center here at the University of Minnesota. Uh, I also want to thank my uh, graduate assistant, Surun Ru, and my uh, collaborator, from, uh, in, Dr. Yin Chen from Arizona State University. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Gao, for that wonderful presentation. Are there any questions for the Dr. Gao regarding the, her research? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm really impressed uh, seeing those uh, findings, and those are really great to see. I'm just wondering, do you uh, leave any implication or do you leave any food for thought for any future extension of this research with uh, some other kind of cancer survivors, 
connecting their travel behavior and resultant uh, emotional well-being or other thing? All right. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, well, I think some uh, recommendations or suggestion for future study is to uh, first to extend the data collection for dynamic, as I mentioned, because uh, due to limit, uh, uh, well, limit uh, research funding and some of the resistance from the patients for doing, uh, for connecting the dynamic for, for two weeks. Uh, we, we only connect the one week dynamic data in the study, uh, but I think, yeah, it's highly recommended by the IT team to use two weeks. Uh, so that we can connect more validated data for further analysis. And the second, I concur with you. Uh, we, we actually we, we are currently conducting a mobile health project uh, with uh, cancer survivors recently, and the interventions we used they include a Fitbit a smart band and uh, some some social media uh, uh, intervention. Uh, you know, uh, so in other words, we uh, expand the, the cancer survivor population uh, to not only breast cancer survivors, but also many other type of cancer survivors. Uh, in the study, we also use dynamic to con connect that tree back to behavior. So it's an ongoing project. We are trying to uh, complete the project uh, in four weeks. Thank you very much.